Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled <clears throat> as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <clears throat> Judgment is final. Uh, real quickly, there's a queen of wands out here that may be, I don't know if someone is pissed off or someone is angry um, that she pays someone to invade your privacy. Um, but it's... Uh, it's not that instead of him doing it, he did it. Whoever this is did invade your privacy, but it's like they were unable to find something on you. It's like someone was trying to set you up to be uh, eliminated for either an opportunity or an offer. She wanted you to be rejected for an offer. Um, so she has someone looking into you, invading your privacy in a lot of different ways. Um, and whatever it is that she was trying to find, she didn't find it. He didn't find it. So it's like she paid a bunch of money to have your privacy invaded in a lot of different ways. Mind you, this is not someone you know. This is not someone you have anything to do with. Uh, never met this woman. Nothing. Okay. But she's been paying people behind the scenes to destroy you, basically invade your privacy, find some type of dirt on you. And they haven't been able to find any type of dirt on you that is of substance. So they kind of got desperate trying to cause you endings, trying to destroy you in their own way. Okay. There could be something that has come out or something that's going to come out. that's going to be exposing what this woman has been up to because this is more than likely someone still walking around pretending to be in the upright. Whatever this is, the truth is coming out. But someone has paid a lot of money. To have you looked into uh, because she was clearly trying to make you seem like something you are not. So that you could be rejected for something or you could just be seen uh, as some, someone that you are not. So that you're not considered for an opportunity. Maybe it's a love offer. Maybe it's a business offer, a job position or something. Okay. Uh, there is a group of people that are partying behind the scenes or they've been celebrating some type of ending they they assume that they've won something um but it, they haven't and this is what i always said that these kind of people they're always celebrating other people's downfall but they never quite understand the battle that they've put themselves in it's like celebrating something you think you've won only for the most high to step in and show you that you haven't won nothing and that the most high is the one to have the last word okay so it's a group of people that has been celebrating they think they've destroyed something or someone, and there's some type of example that's about to be made out of them. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. But there's someone still trying to destroy or sabotage your 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 plans, your work, your offers, your business, your life, your forward movement, you being seen. Someone is absolutely determined to still keep doing it. This is a king of pentacles that has been paid heftily. Uh, to do you something he was paid by a privileged woman to do you something okay you're going to receive some type of new opportunity that's going to lead to abundance whatever it is that you are about to be doing has people in fear is that they, they don't want you seen they don't want you heard because they've done a lot behind the scenes to destroy you and when you come out it's going to be a whole lot of people in a whole lot of hot water uh, at this point, they're in the fire. It's a lot of fear and anxiety going on behind the scenes because these people know how far they went to destroy you. Uh, and you might be someone that's very insightful. You might be someone that knows exactly what these people have been trying to do. That is to keep you from being in a partnership, keep you single, keep you isolated or something of that nature. Um, and it's not quite going that way. There's still... 
uh, trying to carry out this plan and something is backfiring on them. Um, I don't know how much money someone is going to be paying, but it's going to come a time where they're going to have to pay more money in order for someone to keep doing whatever it is she hired him to do or they hired him to do. Someone may end up having to walk away. You could have someone that's coming towards you um, to make you an offer and these people are fighting about it behind the scenes. But whatever, yeah, there's some type of manipulation that's been going on. This game out sideways. Whatever they've been paying someone to do, it's not going to go the way they think it is. It's like they're having some type of little victories. And they think that they've won something only for them to end up having to have a front row seat to see whoever this light worker is thrive. Like these people are arguing a lot behind the scenes, but partying at the same time. I don't know why people are always partying. While they're partying, partying they're, they're planning your demise. Planning on how to take you out. Planning on how to sabotage you. Planning on how to have you rejected. I, the, the same recording thing. Okay? It don't even make sense to be disinvested in someone else's life. But this is what these people have been plotting. So that you do not end up in a relationship. Someone is still being paid to sabotage your work. Someone is still being paid to, yeah, I'm telling you. Didn't I say it's not going to be successful? Look at this. Look at this. They're taking actions, right, to sabotage you. And it's a disappointment. You're still going to be moving forward. You're still supported by the most high. Okay? Let me write this down so I don't forget. Thank you. Okay. It said whatever these people are planning, it's not going to go in their favor because of the intent behind what it is they're doing. They're trying to destroy you out of malice, right? Out of uh, uh, jealousy, insecurities, all the fancy words we've been using to emphasize what it is these people are doing and why they've been doing it. It's all out of jealousy. It's all out of greed. They don't want you and someone coming together. They're disappointed that they took action to try to steal from you, destroy from you, and they couldn't do it. So they're not able to take whatever it is they're trying to take from you or you're too strong is what someone is saying. Like you keep moving forward and you're still going to be seen in one way or another. Someone has been trying to destroy your strength, dismantle you from the, from the bottom up up down whatever like they want to dismantle you in a lot of different ways and this is someone that's been paying to have this done trying to have you rejected by family and friends more than likely pay a whole lot of people behind the scenes so that when you need assistance they don't help you it's something that's very cunning very crafty very malicious and this is the same thing that someone is about to go through everything they've been putting you through they're about to go through the same thing this is like someone going from the high-end lifestyle to falling from grace when they reach out to their closest friend to help them. Say, um, I'm so sorry, Maria. I can't help you. Something like that. Like someone is about to be out here doing, living the same lifestyle they either put you through or try to put you through. Because someone needs to understand why it was why they shouldn't have done something. It's also a thing of the universe wanting them to know what it feels like to be in that position. And that's kind of part of our incarnation. You having to understand things from other people's perspective, okay? So what you're putting someone through, the universe wants you to, to experience that. They want you to know what it feels like to be in that energy, uh, to go through that experience, right? So if you took something from someone and you knew they were living in poverty the whole time and you didn't care, the universe is going to do it, set it up where you end up living in poverty so you can understand what it's like to be that person, what it's like to go through, what it is you put that person through. Karma is a real thing. I don't know why people tend to think that karma is not real. Like they, they can just get out here and do whatever they want to do. But that's not how it's set up. In the universe we live in, the, 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 the creation that we are, karma is a big thing. The universe operates on principle and morals, on and structure and balance. Everything has its place. There's a reason for everything. So if anything is out of balance, you best rest assured that the universe is going to balance it out. I'm telling you, they're going to balance it out. Okay? They are going to balance it out. There's a truth coming out about an emperor 
that has been caused into some type of manipulation when it comes to you, your work skills, your mental, maybe telling people that you're mentally unstable, you may be mentally ill or something, you're confused. There's some type of truth coming out about him and it's going to be very, really embarrassing because this is not someone you would expect to be in that kind of energy. This is someone that carries himself out, set, carries himself as like a pillar of the community, someone that's in the upright. But he's very worried about people finding the truth out about what he's been doing behind the scenes to cause you an ending, to have you rejected and isolated. Like, that someone plans something meticulously. This is someone very cunning, just very malicious for no reason. And this is a woman he's been doing this to, okay? Uh, Someone may be living in fear that they've paid all this money to have you block, stop, and destroy. And they are afraid that you are not going to be controlled. Something is not going to stop for you. You're not going to stop doing something. I don't know why someone thinks they have the authority in your life to make these decisions or to hinder your path. You don't have authority over anyone in life. I keep telling people this. I don't care how delusional you are where you think you have a whole lot of money in the bank. You don't have the authority to make decisions in other people's lives. You're setting yourself up for a very hard knock life when the universe decides that it's time to balance something out. So I don't know who this person is that thinks they have the authority or this community, this group of people that think they have the authority to destroy people's lives or to control people's lives. You're setting yourself up for a hard knock life. You're going to be losing everything, okay? Everything, everything. Could be a queen of pentacles that's sick behind the scenes uh, because she's not, I don't know, getting in a relationship with someone or a relationship is over. I don't know what this is. Like maybe a woman wanted someone to, maybe a woman wanted a masculine to choose her, but he chose to be with somebody else. Uh, and there's a tower going on. It says, since you won't choose me, I'm going to go end the person you're choosing to be with. Okay. Yeah. Conflict. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a lot of conflict. There's some type of, I don't know what this is. There's a decision that has been made that has a community in uproar or a group of friends in uproar. Like they are pissed off. They're angry. They're, they're arguing. All kinds of stuff. Maybe even having some choice words with each other. This is a group of narcissists. This is a group of people that are that like empathy. This is a group of people on the same mission, and that is to destroy someone else, destroy other people, block two people from coming together. These people have been committed to this mission for a long time, a whole long time, just doing all kinds of underhanded moves to make sure two people don't come together. Someone is not seen trying to control someone's environment, gatekeeping someone. It's like, how long are you going to gatekeep? Like, you're losing money by the second you're doing this. Someone is about to end up in some type of financial situation where it's like they're going to be regretting why they did something. I don't know what this is. I don't know if there's a king, queen of pentacles planning to compete with you and someone is not even your match as far as competing it said whatever they're competing with, competing for against you, they don't even stand a chance. <laughs> they don't even stand a chance. They said someone has to pretend to be something. You don't got to pretend to be something. And they want to compete with you because they want people to see them. And I don't know what this is. Maybe it ain't, it don't resonate with me. I, 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 I don't get it. This is the kind of person that will pay to have what it is they want in life. This is the kind of person that will pay to have... Uh, People partner up with them. People be their friends. Someone is like very reckless with the mouth also. Like, <sighs> I don't know. It's like your confidence has this person bothered. But they're trying to be you. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. Exactly. Reverse. someone's mother has been out here stealing someone's wife <clears throat> someone's wife has been stealing lying I don't know if this is someone's mother but she's been lying and stealing from some from a younger energy 
It don't make no sense. I don't know if this is a mother-daughter duo. Whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, it, the truth is illuminated. Baby, there's a prophecy playing out. Someone has self-sabotage. There's a mother figure in a community that has sabotaged herself. And she may still be walking around trying to act like everything is okay. Trying to find her strength to move on. Baby, someone has sabotaged themselves so horribly. This queen, this this empress energy. This is someone's either wife or mother that has been partaking in something. And the truth is going to come out about her. Like someone has self-sabotaged horrendously. Like it's ridiculous what this woman has done to herself. Okay. She, I don't, she, yeah. <laughs> Baby. Someone is realizing that she sabotaged herself by collaborating with these people. Okay? By collaborating with these people. She may also be realizing something about you. That you're someone in the upright, but I think someone says she don't care. She doesn't care. Like, it's a whole collaboration. Everybody is in on it. There ain't no strangers that don't know. You could even be walking past people when you go outside that know what's going on and they're being paid to keep track of you. They say, hey, I pay you 500 to follow her. See where she's going. I pay you 500 to follow him. See where he's going. And they say, well, shoot, $500 just to walk behind someone? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll let you know where they are. Or oh, this will be like a coat, a clothing. And these are members that are being... Uh, order to follow you around and they'll do it they'll do it they're, they're part of the the order right they're part of the cult mm, yeah it's the end there's something where it's like these people have been partnering up with someone i don't know what I, this is so confusing it's like they're trying to keep two people from coming together. Because when these two people come together and they're a match. These two always come out as a match. They'll either come out as the Queen of Cups, Queen of uh, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, uh, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. They'll always come out. Emperor, Empress, they always come, come out as a match. So these are two people that are supposed to be working together or be together, whatever this is. But for some reason, people do not want them together. I don't know if it has to do with you or background or your, your religious belief systems, whatever this is. But it's like someone's trying to work. People are working hard to stop something. From, like stop two people from coming together. Stop people, two people from building together. When it comes to you, the feminine energy, you're someone that's standing your ground, and these people are pissed off that you are still moving forward. They want to sabotage your energy, like your strength. Someone says you're too strong, and they they are scared that you are going to keep defending yourself. Like you are protected. Someone is going to defend you. They don't want anyone working with you. They don't want anyone defending you. There's some type of, it, whatever this is, it's just a different level of wickedness. It's like people have lost their mind. People don't have a heart. Nothing. They don't care how their actions affect you. If you have children, they don't care how their actions affect the children. They don't care at all. They don't care. All they know is they want to destroy you. They want to take from you. Someone's maybe even trying to steal something from you that don't belong to them, obviously. And they're finding out that they're not able to because you're someone that's too strong. You're protecting yourself. Your energy is balanced. And it has them bother. Like, people want you to even sabotage yourself. Like, they want, to, they want you to do or take some type of reckless action that will lead to you self-sabotaging. Either you say something out of pocket, you do something out of pocket, and whoever is watching you and wants to work with you will change their mind, but it's not happening. But something is being orchestrated behind the scenes to make you look unfit, unworthy, make you look low down, basically. Broke, busted, and disgusted, as I tend to say. This is what they're doing. There's some type of duo here. Either a mother-daughter duo, husband and wife, 
Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing going on. <sighs> Man, this is exhausting. But you, I'm being told to tell you that you have the upper hand in this situation. So you have the authority. You're the one that can make the judgment. Okay? There's a Queen of Cups in a community that's been doing a lot of manipulations. I don't know if she's choosing to balance herself out. Whatever she's trying to do, if she's trying to come up against you and destroy you, it's going to backfire as well. Like someone was causing a lot of manipulations about you and things like that. And it's something that's backfiring on her horribly. It's like whatever these people are doing, it's not going to turn out in their favor. There's no way, like there's no realm, no dimension where this turns out in their favor. So it's that people are just kind of destroying their own paths, their own destinies. And they're so afraid for you to be seen. How like how long do you think this kind of thing is gonna go on? Like how much money are you gonna keep paying five hundred thousand to someone like what every six months? So that it can keep someone hidden, keep someone shut up, keep someone from being seen. Like this is all they're trying to do is sabotage you from being seen. Afraid that they're gonna lose control or something. They won't be able to keep a relationship. They won't be able to keep a partnership or something like that. So they can keep manipulating. But they said all of that is gone. You're not you're not going to have that or you're not going to keep it. It's going to be taken away from you. How you got it is how you're going to lose it. It doesn't belong to you. It's that people are afraid for something to come to an end and it's already over. It's like being in denial. Denial is a river in Egypt. Something is over. Something is over. It's kind of like just refusing to accept an ending. Someone refuses to accept an ending. Like something is over, but someone wants to keep going. But it's like someone may have some type of mental illness because I see a lot of source out here. Someone has some type of mental illness. They want to keep going with something. It's a sense of entitlement, feeling entitled to what belongs to other people. Someone feels entitled to what belongs to a queen of cups in the upright. Empress energy. It does not belong to you. You cannot have it, but they feel entitled to it. This is someone that ticks from other people instead of creating what it is that they want. They go and take it from other people. Just entitled. But they feel entitled to what is yours, but they cannot have it. They can't have it. I don't, I don't get it. But thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next reading. Goodbye for now.